hi everybody uh, today i'm gonna show you about uh, name variable what is name variable and how we can use it in unreal engine so go to the label blueprint and create a variable and name it whatever you want i name it name because i want to give the variable type to name variable uh, previously i show you boolean byte integer variable also float float variable today's variable is different than previous one so it's used to identify something within the game uh, compared to the string it's much easier to identify so i select the type to name now you can see we can uh, we have a uh, but to write anything so i write uh, siphon one two five four six and uh, multiply another button you can use any button you want in here it doesn't matter so i just add event billion play and i add uh, print string then I add uh, the name variable as a get and I add with the print string compile and save now if I play you can see whatever I write in the name variable it's showing here with print string so let's uh, delete this now uh, we have two map uh, third person map and third person map one previously i created it this is a third person map and this is a third person one map which i you can see it this is third person one map so we can switch the label using a name variable now delete it compile and save I add a key one key if I press uh, my uh, keyboard one then it will execute this function I add open level by name and you can see we can write a name in here so I just uh, we need to write the name exactly so I just copy the name I go to rename and control C otherwise you can click right button and copy it So I paste it, Control V. So if I press one, I go directly third person level one, which means uh, that level. So I play the game, go around and press one. Now I'm in this level. So this is how you can use uh, name variable to change the label now i don't write anything in here i just uh, give the name to the name variable you can see name variable color and uh, new label color is same so i just add it and compile and save if i play now if i press one still i go to the level this level so now open this level and go to the level blueprint here is the blueprint now i add one i also add open label i create a variable i also name it name and i also select the type to name compile and save and i just give to third person map i just delete the one so if i play this level and press one i go that level and if i go play that level press one i come to this level press one now i am this level playing around walking around and if i press one i am in this level isn't it fun yes this is funnier 
so now go to the third person map this map go to the level blueprint disconnect it now i want to use it as a different way i add event it and i add get player character and from here class to bp third person character and i may create pure cast I open the third person character and I add a count and make it integer if any is integer float both and from here I add set count and also I add get count and add plus one whenever we collect the bots the boss bots will the cube will destroy itself and uh, there is uh, one value add in my count variable add one compile and save now from here get count and from here greater than or equal i add three if we call it three If we collect three, then automatically we'll go to the level third person map one. If we can collect three boxes, we can automatically go to the uh, third person one map. One boxes, two. Now, when I collect the three, I will go to that level. Yeah, very easy. Now I create a user widget. I name it uh, win game. Whenever I call it uh, three widget, I just win the game. So I add a canvas, canvas panel. And from here, I just add a button. I add it next. So the main point to use this user widget, uh, we will create one widget and we will use it in both level. And whenever we press the same button, we can go to different level using the name variable, of course. So I give, I give this size and this position. Please, you can follow my position. And I add it next. and whenever i click the button that's the button you can change the button name i just remain it button zero and i add open level now we need to add few more things go to the third person character and i add a name name variable uh, type is name compile and save go to in game red player character class to bp third person character i make it a pure cast and i get name i add i add a branch I just copy third person map. Now I add equal and I paste the 
third person map so the point is whenever we are in third person map and if we win the game we will draw third person map one and if we are third person map one we will draw third person map so i add open level that is third person map one and that is third person map if we are in third person map we will go to the third person map one so in in the level blueprint i just add a set name so i just set the name this level name in here this is the third person map i just uh, rename rename that th third person map one add the name in here and i just uh, add the name in here so just open the level and go to the blueprint uh, paste it whatever you copy it and change the name name it uh, third person map one compile and save Great uh, count and equal and greater than. I give the value three. If we call it three bots, then open level. Not open level. It's uh, add do once and print is uh, create a widget. Widget we created. The widget should be win widget at the win widget add to viewport yeah compile and save just copy this copy it also control c open the third person map one control c control v paste it add the count compile and save so we are done and we are ready to go add the collide duplicate it duplicate it three time alter and p collect one box collect two bots Select three bots now next button showing and if we press uh, next we will go to the this map and if we collect uh, uh, three bots here also the next button will show and if we press it we will go to that map so same widget we can use two function uh, with uh, name uh, variable so this is how you can use name variable your own preference way you can uh, use it whatever you like to use so this is for today's tutorial. Uh, bye bye everybody.